Hey there, once again, YouTube. It is 7.33 p.m. Pacific Time, August 20th, 2019, and we're here at my Steamboat Geyser 2019 page on my website under the Seismic Events menu, Steamboat Geyser 2019. Guess what happened today, guys? I was at Mount Rainier, and something happened while I was at Mount Rainier. It didn't occur at Mount Rainier. It occurred at Yellowstone, and Steamboat Geyser, boom! has officially matched the all-time yearly record of 32 eruptions, which was set in 2018. So, the most recent eruption is the 32nd eruption of 2019, which is the 64th Steamboat eruption since it reactivated in early 2018. Steamboat has officially matched the all-time record. The current yearly record holds 32 eruptions in 2018 and 32 eruptions in 2019. The next eruption, which should occur about a week from this eruption, will beat the all-time record. And we're not even close to the end of the year, guys. So I'm going to say, I'm going to put a number out there as a guess how many Steamboat will erupt until the year's over. I'm going to say 42. I'm going to say 42. Isn't that the secret of life? The secret of life is 42, right? <laughs> I think that's the number. Well, I forget what movie that is. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, I think. Or something like that. But I think it's going to be 42 eruptions by the time 2019 is over. And we only need one more to beat the record. Again, June 2019 broke a record of its own. Steamboat erupted seven times in June, setting an all-time record for eruptions in one month. Steamboat is still alive and well. Again, we only need one more eruption to beat the record. Again, Steamboat erupted for the 32nd time of 2019. It has officially matched the all-time record, and there it is right there. Let's go to the helicopter from YNM, and you see it right there. It's a good-sized eruption, guys, going up to about almost 100,000 amplitude count. One E5 would be 100,000 amplitude count. Pretty strong eruption, guys, It at least according to the amplitude, the seismic amplitudes. Very strong. So, now that we know Steamboat Geyser has officially matched the all-time record, and we only need one more, let's move on to one more thing just real quick. Here we are at pnsn.org, and right down here we see the Twitter feed, excuse me, Twitter feed from PNSN, and we have a, all of a sudden, boom, the expected Puget Sound episodic tremor and slip event has started. It was expected earlier, but guess what? This is the second ETS event for Washington, guys. They said the expected Puget Sound episodic tremor. Yeah, it's kind of expected, but this would be the second one this year. No joke. Very interesting. So why don't we go to the Tremor map, shall we? Let's go to the Tremor map, and I will show you, because remember how in May, April, I think it was about May or April of this year, we did see a big outburst of Tectonic Tremor. And that's what this map records, is Tectonic Tremor. Right now we see the main Tremor epicenters around Olympic, the Olympic Peninsula. I live right there, so very close to the epicenter. Likely no one will ever feel these. Now right here, we do see there was a big spike. Notice how it kind of gradually increased and hit right about here right about may 11th is when it reached its peak that was the ets event they said that that was it and we would not have any more ets events i even talked to a couple um geologists from pnsn or seismologists excuse me um john vidale i think was one and they thought that that was the ets event well come to find out we are seeing another one and you know that's not that's not too crazy i mean you could see throughout all the years remember each tick mark from here to here is one year so it does happen every now and then every now and then within a year time frame we do see two ets but this has been very it's it hasn't been that long since the ets stopped from the april may events very interesting so let's look at the april and may events right here let's press search they're going to be a lot of them so they won't give the actual epicenters on the list but they will show it on the map Go ready all right, filled up the entire Cascadia subduction zone. Notice that even Oregon got theirs. We got ours, and they thought that that was it, that this was the ETS event. And I, you know, I kind of agreed with them. But now, let's go back to all data and go zoom into now. Ever since, let's, let's just do the most recent right here. Let's do the most recent. Press search. I love this map, guys. And we do see tectonic tremor has seen a big increase. There's been a little bit in southern Oregon, but primarily along the Olympic Peninsula and the Strait of Juan de Fuca right here. So very intriguing how this is possibly the second ETS event this year. Why? Remember, episodic tremor and slip is from when the tectonic plates, uh, for example, 
the North American plate, going over the Juan de Fuca plate, the Juan de Fuca subducting underneath the North American plate, and every once in a while it starts to slip even faster, but it slow, slowly slips. That's why it's called slow slip. And there's some type of lubrication factor in there. And if we didn't have that lubrication, yes, thank God for lubrication, if we didn't have the lubrication, we would see a lot more earthquakes here, guys. We definitely would. So, thank God for ETS. But then again, it's theorized. It's not proven, but it is theorized. Big earthquakes are more likely during an ETS event. And it does make sense, you know? Even though it is sl slowly slipping and there's lubrication, it still builds pressure against one another, you know, possibly leading to a large earthquake. Not saying this is going to lead to a large earthquake. All the other ETS events have not. But so, but you never know. This is the second one this year. But this one looks particularly strong, guys, for the Olympic Peninsula. So very intriguing. We'll have to wait and see where this is headed. I bet it's going to continue for probably the next week or two, maybe even longer. We'll just have to keep looking. And they'll probably put out a blog post, uh, PNSN will, probably on the website. So just monitor that if you wish. The Tectonic Tremor ETS has started up once again. Steamboat Geyser has met the all-time yearly record. So things are occurring. Things are going crazy. Let's see if eh, not much has happened since. All right, I got to go, guys. Hope you have a great day. God bless, and I'll see you later.